I fell off the boat for the first time ever. Just fell off. Very exciting moment has arrived. <laughs> Wait for the baton. I don't know how many times we said to each other, do not forget to put the buttons in. The French government have eased some more restrictions. We are free to cruise around uh, wherever we want to go along the French coast and that is such a relief to us. Maybe almighty bollocks of this at this end. Sorry, I tried. It wasn't pretty. And frankly, the less you saw of that, probably the better. Very exciting moment has arrived. We are about to put one of our sails on. We're going to put the jib on. The main sail is a um, slightly bigger job, so we're going to leave that um, for tomorrow. We haven't put the sails on yet because it's been really windy recently, uh, and you know during the day fighting with particularly the mainsail to try and get it back on, that's not a job that either of us relished. So we've been kind of waiting for the wind to die down a little bit, but it hasn't really. Um, it only dies down in the evening. So that's why we're doing this job in the evening. And yes, this is evening. It's like bright sun, really warm. <laughs> it's like 5.30 in the evening. Very long evenings here in France in summer. As you may re remember from our time in the canals. Or you may not. I don't know. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Outside of the shrouds, yeah? Outside of Over the winch. Ready? Yeah. What's wrong? What have you done? We put the buttons in. <laughs> Damn. We're just seeing if it's okay with wood. Yeah. That's all we were doing. I know, it was all part of the plan. I don't know how many times we said to each other, do not forget to put the buttons in. <laughs> because last time we put the gym on, we forgot to put the buttons in. And we said, mustn't do that again. And we just did. In some very exciting news, the French government have uh, opened up or eased some more restrictions uh, starting next Tuesday, so five days from now. 
they are scrapping the rule where you have to stay within 100 kilometers of your primary residence which has effectively meant that we can't sail beyond roughly Ile Dieu which is exactly 100 kilometers away um, which is fine but the fact that we can sail all the way up the French coast as far as we want to now all the way to the Channel Islands is um, is a huge relief to us that's exactly what we we're hoping would be announced today so it has been announced and so we are free to cruise around uh, wherever we want to go along the French coast and that is such a relief to us so that means that hopefully uh next well this comes into force on tuesday so hopefully next wednesday we can get going set sail go somewhere get back to cruising i know that we both want that very very much you know we got back to the boat uh a week ago eight days ago i am flat out and i've still got a week's work to do so you know what's left i've got to service the outboard service the engine uh, we've got to get the main sail on, get the sail bag on. I've done the canvas repairs. Then we've got to clean this boat from literally top to bottom. That's going to take two days with a steamer to make sure everything is done. Service the toilet. Um, let me just see what else I've got on my beautiful list of stuff to do. Uh, tighten the rig. We've got to go back up the mast to retrieve a lost halyard, Teresa. Um, I've Nick. got to change the bulb in the port side nav light. Turn the boat around. Um, buy some two-stroke oil, clean all the woodwork, redo the woodwork outside because the teak restorer I didn't like. Right. And then we've got to go and anchor. I've then got to dive under the boat with a wetsuit while in the marina to clean the barnacles off the prop because it's vibrating. Then we've got to go out and anchor and spend some time cleaning the hull with a scraper. So we've got a fair bit of work to do. We've got a huge amount of work to do. Oh, God. I think every single night after dinner, I have some chocolate. That's good, babe. Is it good? Mm. I'm not sure it's good. It tastes good. What are you eating? What am I eating? Mm -hmm. Oh, orange chocolate. Mm. I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm gonna go and watch some Netflix in bed because um, we've got Wi Fi in this marina. That's actually quite fast, which is weird. If you guys are watching any good Netflix series and please let me know in the comments down below. I'm watching something called Dark right now. It's really good. It's a German series. It's like a mystery kind of thriller. Very, yeah, like intense. It's good. In the great outdoors, forever free. Now, two things. One is that we are facing in a different direction than we were yesterday, which uh, the astute may have already picked up on. We have had to move our boat because we have to um, get the other side of the hull gel coat repaired by the gel coat specialist. So we left our dinghy on the other side and Nick is rowing it over right now. <laughs> Go and see what he's up to. Yes, that's the laundry. There's more laundry related news, believe it or not, and I'll come to that in just a moment. Quickly, Nick, before you get blown away. Well done. All right, time for my laundry news. Yes, I have laundry related news. So, today, um, you may have seen my social media post. I fell off the boat for the first time ever. Just fell off. I was uh, hanging out the laundry and uh, I literally broke the rule, the rule about being on boats, which is one hand for the boat and one hand for whatever else you're doing. I broke that rule and I had both hands kind of like reaching up to hang out the laundry. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a breeze in the marina today. The boat just rocked, just a little bit. And um, I essentially just lost my balance. And I went to grab the guardrail behind me and I happened to be standing at the opening where the boarding ladder is. So there was no guardrail. So I literally went to grab onto nothing, thought, shit, 
And then with my other hand, the one that was full of laundry, I grabbed onto the washing line and then I just fell backwards, hit the pontoon, just smash. Um, took the washing line with me, took the laundry with me, hit my head, hit my elbow, hit my leg. I've got scrapes all over my arms and legs. The worst part of that whole story is that I had my sunglasses. I don't know if I had them like perched on my head or whether I was actually wearing them. I feel like I should have been wearing them if I was outside. But anyway, when I kind of sat up on the pontoon, you know, kind of wondering where I was, um, they were no longer anywhere to be found. So I'm pretty sure that they flew off and they probably would have broke as well. So they are, um, that's right. There are another pair of sunglasses that we've lost. That's the second pair of Ray-Bans that we've lost in this marina alone. And we're wondering how many sunglasses in particular, but other like valuable personal effects are kind of littered at the bottom of the, um, the seabed here. I bet if they ever drained this marina, they would find all sorts of stuff down there. But we're certainly not going to go diving looking for a pair of broken sunglasses. So not in this water. So anyway, that's my laundry story. Six o'clock has rolled around and six o'clock means sundown on time. The boat tends to go through phases of being fixed, not fixed, trashed, not trashed. We always seem to get to six o'clock and find out that the time has just flown past and we've we're out of day. So we moved the boat today. We had a very stroppy Neil 45 owner that refused to move the boat because he was too busy, despite the fact the bloody trimaran was too wide to uh, for us to get out in front of. So we actually had to get the marina involved. We dogged him in. And the reason for moving the boat is because um, Patrice, who is a lovely little French man, sorry, I'm just pulling an Aperol, um, who is doing all the hull work, wants to finish off the gel coat work on the other side. And he's like, well, I can't do it in a dinghy it's too complicated so anyway so yeah so um we waited three days for the neil owner to move his boat and every time every day he was too busy and uh in the end i said look we just we've got to we've got to move the boat moving away from beer for the evening Teresa's found that she's uh she's rekindled her love of aperol spritz which is um i'm not overly fussed because i love the stuff as well yeah we've got to take our aperols up and Enjoy the new position that the boat is in. I like I deserve this today. You did, you've fallen off the boat. I did. And I lost my favourite sunglasses. Well, there you go. I found my second favourite. Out there. They're no replacement. Come on, TV. Oh! That's it. They said we're going to flip it that way. That way. I feel like it's easy for you to be oh. the mast. Okay. I don't have the height. Yeah, I've got or to the put upper the... body strength. Okay, now what we've got to do is take this and fold it over. Yeah. You've got to pull it back all along, all along there. There's there's a button thing here that you can pop, just pop the back there. And you've got the strength to hold both, have you? If you let well, that I, go, I can't let it go, can I? Oh. All right then. Well then, we can't do it, can we? Have it. This last one. We need to raise the whole main. Okay. And as the as the sail goes up, we'll put one button in, two button in, three button in, four. All right. If it starts getting too breezy, we'll just do it another day. All right. right next. Good. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Go. Maybe almighty bollocks of this at this end. Sorry. Sorry, I tried. All right, babe, this is just not going to work. You're not strong enough. All right, get the main hand in. Wow. 
We didn't do no, we late put it using the boom last year. We took it off using the boom. We put it on doing exactly the same way. I know, but we didn't do it that way. We took it off using it doing it that way. Matter, mate. It's just the, I know we said this year and you can do it on the boom. Yeah, but we didn't that's not what we did last year. Why don't we concentrate on doing this thing this is like Because I need to know whether I've like massively like All right, can we just shit. I you're not, you're not I know I have it, that's what I want. Anyway, we'll have it for a bit. Alright, now, we have a mainsail that we can now drop. Yeah. Right, so both our cameras cut out <laughs> halfway through that situation, so I don't know how far along we got with the filming but um anyway point being is that we got the mainsail in the bag in the end and it wasn't pretty and frankly the less you saw of that probably the better Do you know what would have been perfect what if we'd done this yesterday when we had the wind from the boat was facing that way mm, yeah true i think it's safe to say that that is one of my least favorite jobs on the boat Do you know what the thing is that we were trying to do it? Thing is, babe, that we thought about how we did it on the boom last year in France, but that wasn't us putting the mainsail up. That was us taking it down and folding it up to go into the canals. Oh. Well, then why did we? You can do it on the boom. Look, the problem with the mainsail. Well, it's a couple of things. The first thing, and as a skipper, it's always an operator error. I am out of, out of practice. The other thing about that sail is it is literally brand new. It has had, we had it delivered in March last year and we must have sailed for 12 hours with it. It's a very stiff performance cruising laminate. Um, so it doesn't have the flexibility that, that Dacron does. Mm. So really it's still got the creases from when it was bagged for, from, from, from the sail maker. So until we've done a season with it, like and actually properly sailed with it, it's not going to soften. <sighs> I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. To spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself. Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive So for the last two weeks we have been working on Ruby Rose pretty much non-stop and she is looking amazing Today we're leaving We're leaving no matter what <laughs> And we are underway so this is Ile de la Rome. It is just beautiful. The fact that we're able to do what we want now, go sailing, go out and about, just go about our normal lives, is such a sweet, sweet feeling. 